What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is Al Bundy's best insults. I feel like an idiot. Why? Because I always thought Al Bundy, just because I've heard the name, I recognise the name, I just thought it was a comedian. Okay. Wow. It's it's an actual TV show. Oh. It's a character. I, because the other day, I, someone suggested Al Bundy's and I was like, we can do, we'll have a look. So I thought I'd search him and it's an American made-up character. Oh. Uh, which is it's like fictional character. I think it's from well, a TV show. That's better than me because I yeah. thought it was Ted Bundy's creation. <laughs> maybe maybe that is where I've got it in my head. Bundy. Yes. Maybe maybe yeah. that is. Um, but I swear I've heard Al Bundy, and I always thought it was like a comedian or something like that. Uh, so I suppose if it's a comedy show, I'm halfway there. Yeah. It's just a made up character. Let us know in the comments if you enjoy Al Bundy. A lot of people have suggested this over time. We're getting around to it finally, and we're starting off one which. Again, this looks old school. I didn't look at the date on the thing because I can't, I didn't want to learn too, too much mm -hmm. about it because I knew we were going to do it. But the images, what Joe Little Women's look pop up, yeah. it looked old school okay. from what I saw from like the 10 seconds I was on it. So there could be bad insults. Mm. There could be bad. So if you don't like this kind of content, please click off. It might just be harmless. I honestly don't know. We've never seen it before. But we're just adding that disclaimer in anyway, aren't we? Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let us know in the comments below if you want us to do more Al Bundy and what videos. I think there's one... The one which got suggested the most, but I went with this one just as our first one, was like a shoe store one. Okay. I guess he works in a shoe store. I don't yeah. know. But um, let us know in the comments if you want to see that. And let's get into Al Bundy's best insults. What we got? Love and marriage, love and marriage. That's going to be us. Go together like a horse and carriage. Excuse me, but am I invisible? Possibly from Pluto. <laughs> call the police. Before, the car costs more than the car. <laughs> yes, and it costs more than the condom I should have used the night you were conceived. <laughs> I want a balloon. You've already got one. <laughs> uh, honey, why don't you just stay home and bowl me over? Because, Peg, I, I prefer a place where my balls are returned from. Who is it? Do you remember in Modern Family the real the dad? Is he the dad? With the younger was the one that's with the. With no, the I know, girl. no, I know. As soon as you said the dad, because I, I recognise yeah. it. Yeah, it's him. No, go back ten he's seconds. He's really old, isn't he? And it was so really old, it was so recognisable. But he's really he's old. Yeah, yeah a lot older. Really. Modern Family. Peg, I, I prefer a place where my balls. Do you are not recognise him now? <laughs> yeah, we we'll, 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 we'll have this oh, joke again. Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You've already got one. <laughs> Honey, why don't you just stay home and bowl me over? Because, Peg, I, I prefer a place where my balls are returned promptly. <laughs> well, mercy, congratulations. I didn't know you were expecting. Well, that jumping must have expanded my foot. <laughs> but I see you must have fallen on your butt a time or two. Well, How shoe dare shoe you shoe. say that to my face? Yes, I was behind shoe. your back, but my car's only got half a tank again. <laughs> That's very touching, honey. Now rub my feet. Peg, I wouldn't rub your feet if a genie popped out of them. Oh, Peggy, you'll never guess what Jefferson did. Misunderstood your cries of pluck me to the butcher? As a little girl, I wanted to be a ballerina. Ballerina, <laughs> you sure are my nutcracker. <laughs> well, I have just about had enough of you. Well, you wouldn't say that if I came with fries and a medium drink. <laughs> <laughs> there seems to be a lot of uh, weight jokes in this, yeah. doesn't <laughs> And he must work in a shoe shop. He must do, but... <laughs> you know medium, the size between small and you. <laughs> Why must you always be so negative? Why did you cross the road? <laughs> I'm a natural born salesman. Excuse me. Hey, do I come to the hag shop bother you when you're working? <laughs> Good, now you can put that metal plate back in your head. <laughs> Although, that's a lot like putting a lid on an empty jar. Or a bra on you. <laughs> Question two. Who would you rather spend the night with? A, your wife, or B? B. <laughs> That's way of our way, two, four, six, eight, go make fun of our way! One, two, three, 
floor. You're gonna fall through the floor. <laughs> this year, I am finally going to win the neighborhood decorating contest. What, are you gonna stand out front and be the little drummer boy? <laughs> Think you're going? Aren't you open? Sorry, ma'am, but unlike your mouth, we occasionally close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just a second here. Now, why don't you just buck, 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 buck out of here? A shade of blue. I'll tell you what I'll do then. We'll stand you in front of a mirror. I'll begin strangling you. When you reach the shade of blue that is satisfactory to you, you yell moo and I'll stop. That's it. I'm taking my business elsewhere. May I suggest Jenny Craig? Hi, honey. <laughs> Did you miss me? With every bullet so far. <laughs> I feel like some of these bad nice boys, like just for little reference, just we don't know because no, we've, we've never see. seen it. Which, potentially, please let us know in the comments, like with the little name drops and stuff like that, yeah. straight over our heads. But there's just some brutal yeah. insults at times, isn't there? Which are quite funny. <laughs> but you have to realize stealing cars is a felony. So let's pretend to be that kid on home improvement. With this attitude, you're going to be working here for the rest of your life. <laughs> Well, take a gander into the seat next to you if you want to see what your future looks like. <laughs> Come, Penelope. Let's go someplace where they treat us with respect. Does he ever sell any shoes? the moon, you're way less loud. <laughs> you know, Marcy, how can you be so unfeeling? Didn't you ever get up in the morning and suddenly realize that something very, very important was gone? Well, sure you do. You must every morning when you open up your pajama top. <laughs> well, let me explain. See, it's it's just like an elevator. There's a two-ton weight limit on this shit. <laughs> They're getting worse. They are getting worse. Let's say I nail the soles directly to your feet. <laughs> It'll give you more traction when you're pulling the ice wagon. <laughs> You'll be hearing from my attorney. Is that the law offices of Hagen and Dot? <laughs> you know, Jefferson, good for you. You decided to take the Miller boy camping. Huh? Hey, Bundy, I had steak tonight. What are you having? If I was the mailman, I'd be having your wife. <laughs> I smell foul. <laughs> you certainly do. <laughs> My son. I'm trying to get an all over tan. Well, you're asking a lot of the sun. <laughs> Excuse me, do you have any pumps in my size? Yes, I do, but the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Shoes would not allow me to sell them to you. Well, I hope you get coal in your stocking on Christmas morning. And I hope you get slim fast in yours. <laughs> Now, we're about to have our Christmas party here, so would you mind eggnogging on out? And to help you out, I made a top ten list of things to make you more attractive for your... for your sex symbol husband. Uh-oh. <laughs> Number ten, wear traditional Islamic garb covering all but the eyes. I think you're more attractive. Number nine, feather removing electrolysis. Number eight, ski mask. <laughs> Number seven, sew up holes in ski mask. <laughs> Number six, hire attractive woman to stand in front of you at all times. <laughs> Number five, beak job. <laughs> Number four, put paper bag over ski mask. <laughs> Number three, shave head, tattoo Cindy Crawford's face on back of head. <laughs> Learn to walk backwards. <laughs> Number two, poke out eyes of every man on earth. <laughs> Number one, get president to make every day Halloween. <laughs> creative, though. It was creative. Ah, oh, Peg. Would it really make you feel better if I told you I needed you? Yes, it would. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's the end of it. That was just so random, was just weren't it? brutal. Very old school. Um, kind of seemed like an interesting program to watch, though. It generally does. I feel like a lot of stuff which potentially 
we'd get a lot more if we'd actually watch the series, which maybe we will. Yeah. Let us know in the comments if you want us to check that out. Uh, but there is the shoe shop thing, which makes more sense now. Yeah, it makes sense now. Best shoe shop moment. So I guess a lot of it is potential ones we've seen mm -hmm. here, but maybe a lot more. How many series, how many episodes is there? Let us know mm. in the comments. Like I say, it's weird looking at him young because we've only ever seen him old, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, definitely. In Modern Family. Uh, but he seems just as funny. Yeah, definitely. Smash that like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button and watch the video. Have a fantastic day. And we will see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.